<coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> a bit of crunchy bar went down the wrong way. Hello and welcome to Warhammer 2 Total War. But something 9 or 10 of the Halfling campaign. It's been a few days since I uh, actually did any of this. Maybe two. <laughs> Not that long. So I can't remember exactly where we're up to. What had just happened. Uh, I believe we had actually taken the war to the Skaven of Clan Mulder. And we had started taking over their territory up in Kislev. The Empire also had started taking over the territory in Kislev. Much to my annoyance because I wanted all that land for myself. But the moot grows beyond its um, original borders. And our halfling troops prove themselves time and time again to actually be made of sterner stuff than we originally anticipated. They hold on pretty well. They're pretty much, as I've said before, they're pretty much comparable with Empire Spearmen. Except they're a little slower. They maybe not, don't have as much armor. Uh, or melee attack. But they have good defense. And they have the ward save. So they're more defensive. And our rangers are very good. Though we're still hurt for hard hitting units. Our lack of cavalry. Uh, uh, just Or just like elite infantry is a bit of a problem. Though we can make up for it in other ways. We have treemen, ogres. And our mages. We have also access now to a variety of magicians or wizards which will... Make things a lot easier for us with their devastating spells and potent buffs and debuffs. Uh, I think... what else? I think... We weren't... we aren't really being beset by many enemies around the place. The Skaven are... pacified for the most part. Also because we took help in, <laughs> which I think was the last major thing we did. Um, which was a nice victory to have. Though there's also Wintertooth up there and they did attack us and sack one of our settlements. Fort Stragolf, I think. Uh, Wolfric the Wanderer came down and um, and sacked it. So we've got them to contend with now. I haven't done too much though. It's been a while since they attacked. It's it took a number of turns for them to actually come and attack us. So hopefully they're not going to be too aggressive. I could also hope the oceans aren't wet. Um, further down south, we haven't expanded in the southern empire, in the southern realms, or the southern kingdoms, whatever it's called. You know, the border princes territory. Um, though the dwarves are winning the battle against greenskins, despite the screen greenskins having a several. Reinforcements from the uh, goblin armies which appeared over the mountains. Uh, Egrim van Horstman appeared, that's right, and he's leading to Cabal, the Cabal uh, faction, including a Lord of Change called Malefex, to raising parts of the Empire. And the Empire isn't actually doing much to uh, stop him. I believe so far he's raised all of Marienburg. And possibly Isleheart. So he's making his way into Reichland. So the Empire is a massive faction. They own so much of the Empire. Parts of Kislev. Further south. Uh, and the mountains. And they moved into Bretonia. And the, some of the mountains to the east. 
and they've confederated all together so the empire is a massive faction with lots of armies all over the place though they are sort of doing a whole bunch of things at once so they haven't got a real focus they're achieving their goals and their armies are all spread out but they're not like consolidating them on Egrim von Horseman for an example so that's why he's able to march through because he requires a, a a bit of a concerted effort on the emperor's part they've sort of just been losing piecemeal armies against him they did have two armies which were defending Marienburg but then Egrim got near it and they ran off so defense was uh <laughs> you know they'd rather lose the city than lose their armies sometimes the exact uh what's it called no i understand why the ai did that it's like well the settlement i can't win this so i'm just going to flee but then it's like if you had fought it however yes you would have lost the city yes you would have lost your armies but the enemy would be in a weakened state so they can't think that far ahead or in that manner uh, we also see who's this Theodoric Galsa going over to Shore Trucken. Frozen Landing and Bearslings camp is owned by the uh, Wintertooth clan. Studden here is, I believe the Skaven only control Crackers Ravensvik now. If that, no, they will control this I believe. They might control Shore Trucken. But you can see we own Hell Pit, which is very nice. And we'll have to build Overgrown Grove there. And, uh, sure, Exotic Animal Tamer. So it'll just give us more trade, it won't give us any real benefits. Uh, but we own this, which is good. Erengrad particularly will give us a lot of money. 2,000 income generated. That's not including the bonuses we get. Let's build tobacco plots there. What drag off you can see was damaged by what's his name? So let's move you out there so that you can reinforce. We're gonna have to keep you there for a bit <clears throat> because help it is it actually too bad to control? It's got only one scheme and corruption for the local populace. The unreliable climate is minus three public order. <clears throat> so that plus the local populace, which uh, it, we might get like minus four from corruption there at max, plus another four from taxes, plus three for the public order. So that's about 12. Um, what does it mean by buildings? Minus four because of buildings. Does the occupied help it just generate unrest? I don't know. No, minus three from buildings. Oh, that might be the uninhabitable climate. Okay, that that's kind of an odd way to count it. <clears throat> but if we have minus twelve, then our faction gives five. Technologies is 2, plus another 10 from the Overgrown Grove. Wait, do we actually get, like, positives? 2 hour... Oh, Public Order is plus 4 because of Liberator. Right. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, yes. We've got that. Everything's going fine down here. Sylvania is very normal looking. All the vampire corruption has disappeared. Though it's because Skaven corruption is on the rise here. But I'd rather have Skaven corruption than uh, vampire corruption. And I believe that's because of here. I believe there's Skaven undercities in uh, Zufbar, Ogenhammer, or Karagdrobar. But I can't do anything about that. Uh, you're positive. <coughs> Pardon me. 
even though the corruption is uh fairly high it's got minus seven at 31. hmm Oh, hello. Sartosa is being sieged by a rebel army of Vampire Counts rebels. Fine. The Empire also controls Myrmidons now, Matorka, Zvorak, Lucini. I wanted those. Greenskins are still around. They hold Karak. Asgal, Crooked Fangfort, as well as parts of Ekrund. But they're losing it. So they're probably not long for this world. Uh, facing the might of the dwarves and the Empire combined. We can see Isleheart here, which has been raised by Egrim von Horseman, I believe. Oh no, he's up there, so that was Malefix. Maybe? Unless Agrim ran up there. It's got Scroll of ba Black Horror. Ooh. By the comet. They've recolonized Marienburg, but no garrison, so it's probably not going to last for long. Uh, we have a military alliance with the, uh, Wood Elves of Laurelon Forest. But we are at war with the Wood Elves down here, but apparently Laurelon Forest doesn't care about that. Nope. Nope, they don't mind that we're at war with the Wood Elves down here. They're not at war with Bloodkeep anymore. When did that happen? Eh, whatever. I'm kind of hoping that a disaster will befall the Empire and uh, allow us to vacuum up a bunch of their territory. Oh, that's where they are. That's where... Uh, what's his name is? He's going to attack Zoyshenk then, is he? Zoyshenk has a fairly good um, garrison in it, including a Treeman. Yeah, we get a very good garrison just from our minor settlement. Including a Treeman, a Great Eagle. But it's not very numerous. It's only got one of Halfling Rangers, Militia and Wardens. So, we get a lot of our numbers from the walls. Herengrad though, the garrison is a... Yeah, I don't know. I think the garrisons need a bit of a relook for this faction. Because the garrisons for the minor settlements are much better than the garrisons for the... Major settlements. Uh, that makes sense in a way, because halflings aren't really about big cities. They're about, like, you know, farm villages and all that, but. Still, that doesn't really get past the point that cities are more valuable than small settlements. And having a, uh, Garrison filled up with swordsmen and uh, spearmen is not exactly the best. I'm actually surprised at this. Karak Zorn, the dwarf faction down here, has expanded up to and taken Karak Orug. Karag Orud. <clears throat> Whether they were at war with Clan Moors and defeated them or not, I don't know. We've encountered Aswad Scythians. S Sithens, sorry. Wonder where they are. That's another one of the Araby factions. Hmm. The Clan Scry controls all of um, Estalia again. Bretonia at one point actually took Bilbali, but apparently the Skaven have taken it back from them. That's rather good news. I mean, I'm sort of rooting for a variety of factions here. Having large factions dominating the territories makes it... It makes it less interesting. 
So if the Skaven are able to push back against the Bretonians, uh, that means that there's go they're going to stay around for longer. So as I said, the Greenskins look like they're not going to be around much longer. But I think that's more of an issue with the Greenskins in general. Uh, they've never really... They've gone through periods of being a dominant faction and then sort of falling to the wayside. But at the moment, anyway, we have this attack by Wolfric the Wanderer. The chances it gives us are not terrible. Got Wolfric, Skin Wolf, three champions, Marauder, Hunters, Javelins, two Feral Mammoths, Norskan Ice Wolf, Snow Trolls, and Bile Trolls. I. I don't. I really don't think we could actually beat that. We don't have... Our four militia are not enough for those feral mammoths. Because we lack range to shoot them with. Um, we don't have the armor piercing for the champions. And we don't have heroes to deal with their heroes or lord. The snow trolls are a problem as well. Because <laughs> they're quite large. And they give unbreakable to people around them, so... 40 seconds only, but... That they could cast that on my unit. <laughs> hmm. Oh well, I think we'll just auto-resolve it. Yep. We d killed two units of theirs, but... Well, they didn't raise Zoyshank. But it looks like they're going for Erengrad. <clears throat> It'll be annoying if they attack and raise Erengrad. They might have to build some siege weapons first. But they have out they have feral mammoths and other creatures which are siege attackers. So they might not do so. I'm glad Cracker Drack is still around. However, they're not doing anything again, so they've lost territory, but they're not regaining it. That actually didn't take too long. I suppose there's less factions. Yep, Zoyshank shacked. Zoyshank sacked. And Aaron Grad is being raided. Fine, fine. Uh. Absolutely not. You go there. How to proceed. You go near to him. Our Amber with our Amethyst Wizard has a level up. Get level three of Doom and Despair. I really don't think you'd be able to defeat the Garrison of Erengrad. I mean, it's not the best, but maybe you'll go back and uh, attack Zoyshank again. I could put you into Zoyshank, but there's no Garrison there, so you'll just have to fight the battle on your own if you go there. I don't think you're good enough to be able to do that. <clears throat> um. Uh, what shall I recruit into your army? Uh, how about a treeman? Actually, no, another hot pot catapult. Fort Stragoff can go up a level. Yay. We're getting a nice amount of gold per turn. Nearly 6,000. Raid the toll gates. Ackendorf, what do you have? Upgrade your farms. Garag Orud, you have underway lookouts. Sure. Ah, uh, where do I want to send you? What's over here? Last defenders. 
Where did I see Aswad Scythians? Oh, over there. Scythians. Scythians, Scythians. There you are. Vizia Salah Ardin. He has a crescent amulet. This strange mystical amulet allows its wielder magical powers, but it's a heavy burden some cannot bear. Miscast chance minus 10%. Spread corruption. Chaos corruption is increased by additional 1. Magic resistance 15%. Hmm. Yeah, Southlanders. Hailing from the fetal jungles of the far south, these warriors are well acquainted with all manner of beasts and monsters. Arabian, Arabian swordsmen, Arabian bowmen, Arabian knights, dune riders, Bedouin scouts. That's the only settlement they control? Yeah. What else do they have there? Arabian guard, pit fighters, slaves, dune nomads. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Uh... Well, I don't know what you're going to do with those armies up there, but I hope you're just going to leave them alone. Erangrad does have walls, so you have an increased garrison. The garrison's just not very good. I might actually play that battle personally if they attack, because I'll be able to have, like, coordinate my defenses better. And I believe with the towers I'll be able to deal more casualties to them than I would if I auto-resolved. We'll see. They might just run back home. Oh, the uh, top knot tribe of greenskins over there is raising it raised the Bay of Blades. Do not waste my time with petty talk. Make your offer and be done. Hello. What do you want? Peace treaty. Uh. Your strength is twenty eight. You're really not that strong now. No, no. Yep. There was two mod updates, which I noticed. Uh, at least today. There might have been some over the last two days, but I can't remember. The last two updates I saw, though, in my list was the GCCM beta mod and the heraldry and uh, uniform and heraldry mod for the greenskins. But I don't actually know what the update was for either of them. If there was any patch notes, I didn't see them in my brief look. So... Up, oh, you are sieging Erengrad. You feel good about your chances, I suppose? You're probably just going to flee if I attack you with my two armies coming around there.
Okay, mission aborted. Oh, wait, really? Famine in the moot? The appetites of the halflings are legendary, but now they have nothing left to fill their hot pots. His mess, Stoutheart, Elder of the Moot, is demanding food be shipped in. We'll make cutbacks, so we only need enough for three courses per meal. <laughs> what a terrible thing! How could we have a famine? Eating too much. Okay. Oh, did Alifex raise that? No. Clubbers over there. I suppose Malifax got destroyed. Oh, Uber's right got raised there. But I mean, they might have raised Uber's Uber's Reich and then got destroyed. Hence, why my uh, mission was deemed unnecessary to complete. Okay, you can actually move there. Do that. And you move into range as well. They're not both within range? On. Move there. No, Aaron Grad. Yep, there you go. I knew you'd do that. Yes. Equipment check. Uh. Move out. Move to there. You, I believe you're in range of the uh, garrison of Aaron Grad. Move into Aaron Grad. General. Actually, I'll march you a little bit closer. No it was something which was a bit easier in earlier medieval, to um, in earlier Total War games, determining whether someone was in range of a city or not. When it was based on a grid, it was easier. Now with these circles, it can feel like you're right next to it, or you're within range, but you're not actually. Okay. Oh, you're not actually moving anywhere. I think I was moving you down to a... Ackendorf. Actually, march over there. There's settlements to take. Yes. You can get uh, wild-eyed, and we'll raise another lord. And we'll raise him in Castle Tempelhof. And we'll get... Helmut Unberorgen. There. 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 Okay, that's fine. Okay, we'll move our hero down here. You move this way. I want you to move past Kemri. Can we see more of this army now? No. We see Numas with King Tutankhamut. Ramontep the Visionary. Hmm. Pyramid of Prince Tutankhamut. What's that say? The Eternal Prince promises bounty and prosperity to his lands in exchange for glorious exaltation, naturally. Okay. 
They'll probably raise Zoyshank again. Wolfric. But he could do that if he wants. Whatever. He's already sacked it once. We'll just... If he sacks it, then he'll be able to move off. If he raises it, he'll be stuck there for a turn. So chances are if he goes past it, he'll sack it and then run off again. And that's not as bad as raising it. But he may as well raise it if he's going to sack it twice, because then it will be level 1. Ugh. You want a peace treaty again? Nah. You asked me last turn. I haven't changed my mind. Oh, what have the Empire done up there? Oh, they've claimed, uh... It's your truck and haven't they? The Empire's massive turn takes part. Takes place. All their armies moving around, all their heroes. Yep, they've ta the Empire's taken Shore Trucken. You know, it'd be better if you left that for the dwarves to take back, but... Oh well. I suppose the dwarves snoozed, so they loosed. Oh, he's changed stance to ambush. He's actually going to hide in the forests. Hmm. Don't ask how he can hide with like two massive, uh, mammoth, massive mammoths. Snow trolls and all that. Thy Sigma's will come in peace. Hello, Karak Azul. What do you want? Joined war against Labaris. No, I don't feel like it. <clears throat> Labaris is all the way down there. We're not even. How would us being at war with them help? Broken nose against the Empire. Sure. I think the Broken Nose declared war on Bretonia there. The Empire! We got over battles to fight! We've got other battles to fight! Shall we go to shine sign something? Hmm. Sure. You be an orcs as one, the gods won't be happy. Yeah, you're a weird one. I'd love to see all the ref all the like dialogue for some of the more odd, like, um, diplo diplomatic messages you can get in the game. Because technically any of the relations are completely possible, it's just unlikely. Oh, there he is. We had, we discovered him, so he wasn't successful in his ambush. And he's in range of our uh, settlement. And, uh, armies, okay. But he's going to flee. Yep. So, move to there. And then we'll attack him. And we'll be able to wipe his army off the battlefield. Uh, magic resistance on... Eh. The magic resistance is 15. I could give the 35% magic resistance. Give it to the ogres. And I'll play this. Battle. Mm. What have we got? Grassland, Erengrad. Yep, fine. It's about as what I expected. Ugh. Hold on. Okay.
This is an easy battle to win, but I want to play it specifically so that I can have a look at the snow trolls and bile trolls and also so that I can deal with the uh, enemies which are the greater threat appropriately. So I feel if I uh, auto resolve it we might lose a unit. Or take more casualties than we need to. The auto resolve isn't the computer playing the battle in the background, it's sort of just using the comparative strengths, I believe. And basing it off that. Also, I'm curious about what snow trolls look like. I think they look like throg, but... Okay, uh, that's fine, magic. Space out, like that. So that you can get your immune to psychology spread out. Same with these. There we go. We have two hunting hounds, so I also want to have a look at those. Oh, I think they look like uh, the wolves. Which makes sense. That can go there. We also get to see the uh, hot pot catapult in action. I don't think I noted last time whether it was different or not from the uh, Regiment of Renown version we have. There we go. Okay. And the Hunting Hounds. So, what do our Hunting Hounds look like? Yep, they're wolves, but they've got different, uh, different coloured coats. Fair enough. Uh, we have our Amethyst Wizard. He's looking very appropriate there with his staff and sword. Our other hot pot catapult here. The halflings with their uh, pots on their heads still. Okay. Come on, mouse wheel. There we go. We'll get our extra units up. Ooh, got an amber wizard. Ready. Okay. March. Move like that. Leaving. Do that. Dryads behind. Rangers over there. Ogres in the dryads. Chefs behind them. You go there. You go there. And you go there. Turn off auto fire. Turn off auto fire. Stop that. Position you around like that. Just so that the Amber Wizard isn't the one shouting. So let's have a look at their units. They have... Feral Mammoths. These Snow Trolls, which they only have two of. Oh, they come in units of three. Okay, they're very big. 
And these bile trolls. Ugh. Actually got an interesting mouth on them. I mean, they're reskinned Chaos Spawn, but... Again, I kind of think, like, the texture on them is a bit broken. It doesn't look shaded right. The ice trolls look alright. Marauders, Wolfric the Wanderer, his chariot, Werekin, and the Marauder Champions. Okay. So. No, not that. There. Okay. Position yourselves there. You march up to there. Actually, don't do that. Position yourselves there. I saw a hill and I started moving you towards it and then I was like, oh wait. I don't really want you to go to that hill. You don't actually have the Amber Spear, but that's fine. Open fire when they're within range. Hot Pot Catapult actually, you shoot the Snow Trolls! Does it fire the same? It does! Fireballs. I was going to say you missed! But that was actually a very good shot. You didn't kill them, however. You like clipped the top of the clipped their heads. Even though they have like a 40% weakness to fire. BAM! Well, I think you killed one of them. Yep, you did. And the other one's broken. Shoot that feral mammoth. It doesn't have regeneration, so it's not weakness to fire, but. It's a massive target, and if you manage to hit it... There we go. Now hit the Bile Trolls. Bam! Well, you missed that one. Our Hot Pot Catapult isn't upgraded in terms... Upgraded, so their skillet lobbing their pots is not the best. Let's hope our hunting hounds are able to do well against those javelins. Okay. You cast that on him. You cast that on him. that mammoth down pow you missed you hit it that time
Oh, the... Snow Troll came back and the uh, Marauder Champions actually came and caught them. <clears throat> Shoot that. Come on. Deal with Wolfric. Okay, there we go. That didn't go too badly. Can you get rid of Wolfric for me, please? We perhaps could have used our second army a bit more than I did there, but yeah. Yeah, whatever. It's fun to play the battle. Hunting hounds, hunt down Wolfric. Are you fast enough to catch him? 95. Oh, well, we got him. Well done. The power of soup. Okay, stop before you uh, end up taking out those dryads. And chase down those bile trolls. Come on. Oh, they gotta get away. Ugh, oh, why'd you stop? It's because the marauder unit here was in the way, perhaps. Okay, there we go. And battle. Ugh. Well, hmm. Wolfric got the most kills in that. 65. I suppose he was mounted on a chariot, but... I feel like lords mounted on chariots are one of the best uses of chariots. the chariot units don't necessarily do as well. I don't know, chariots are... Mm, tricky to use. <laughs> They're nowhere near as devastating as they are in Rome Total War. Few things are. Yes, well done. You took down a feral mammoth. Did you get any kills? You got four kills. I'm pretty sure one of them was a feral mammoth. Eh, part of the captives. The they all die anyway, so it doesn't matter. Blood feuder. So you've roundly marmalized the eternal champion. He'll be back for a rematch and soon. Of that, you can be certain. Charge bonus plus 10%. Well... Whoopee. Uh, you can't track and track. garrison in Erengrad, though I can force march you, so I'll do that. You can just encamp there. Encamp there. Oh. Now, what do I want on you? Hmm. Earthing. The Amber Wizard. I'll give you the Amber Spear. Zoyshank can be increased to level. 
to make up for the one it lost because it was raised or sacked. I'll give you a Scarred Veteran. Help it is still going to have negative if I move you out of there. But we haven't built the Overgrown Grove yet, so... Castle Templehof. Three more turns until that can go up to level five. Castle Drakenhof, 12 more turns. Uh, Eshen can build walls, but I don't know whether I want it to. You continue your march over to Isleheart. Perhaps Marienburg will rebel, and I'll be able to take it when it's raised again. Oh, actually, the Cabal has butted off a uh, smaller army. We have Vigo, Vigo here. I don't want to be too close to Egrim. However, he is a uh, problem. Hopefully the Empire can deal with. Ah, you've got a... Uh, Knights of the Blazing Sun. Well armoured and resplendent, the Knights deliver a fierce and destructive charge. The Empire Knights. Uh, with slightly better stats and fire attacks. I remember Knights of the Blazing Sun mostly as the tank choice for the Order faction of the Empire in Warhammer Online. It was like a constant battle between the uh, Knights of the Blazing Sun and the uh, Chaos Chosens to which one had the better shouts and abilities and all that from what I remember. I think the Empire... I think... <laughs> I, I gotta say I think the Empire had better choices there but I might have been biased because I was always a... I, I played a Chaos Chosen. Shanty Towns. Okay. Oh, that's actually interesting. Wintertooth controls Agro Migdal. However, normally there's no way for the uh, Norskid factions to control a region which isn't a port or outside of Norska. However, the trolls actually controlled this settlement. No, not the trolls. Um... It was like followers of um, Nimulid or something like that, which joined them, so they control it because of that. But yeah, that would have been a Norse confection as well, so I don't know how they actually ended up with this. Eh, whatever. Got a good garrison. The nation calls. Excuse me? Oh, that's a bit wrong. Jock. Jock here is labelled as a captain, but he looks like a Strigoi Ghoul King. Hmm. I hope nothing has been broken too much in the uh, updates which occurred. Nothing which should have affected that. Hmm. No, because the only things which were changed were the... Uh, Uniform and Heraldry and the uh, GCCM mod. To the provinces. Which is maps and not units. Okay. Uh, I'm upgrading. I'm building up your army. I would like a captain here. Get Ulrich von Stroll. Blade Master, hard to hit. Get the Witch Hunter. Mm. Leadership plus three and immune to psychology. Get Accusation. Cleanse Corruption. And Elusive. I like making them harder to hit. Um, okay. Uh, 
Oh pit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In turn. Oh, we stole the pigeon plucker pendant from uh Wolfric. Well, whoopee. <laughs> It's a nice enough item, I suppose, but it's only effective against flying units, and the factions which have flying units are not very common. Depends where you are. Like, Lizardmen have a bunch of flying units. The Wood Elves also have flying units. But then High Elves have their dragons, or their, uh, Phoenixes. Dark Elves have Manticores, the Black Dragon, and a regiment of renown of uh, Pegasus, Dark Pegasus Riders. Um, also Harpies. Beastmen only have Harpies. Wood Elves have Hawk Riders and Giant Eagles. The Empire don't have any flying units. Bretonia has Pegasus Knights and Demigriff and uh, Dem what's it called? Hippogriff Knights. Uh, Vampire Counts have a fair few flying units too. Dwarves do, but they've got the gyro gyrocopters and gyro bomber. I mean, you don't tend to see those too often. We could crush, destroy your tiny empire, but we won't. Peace treaty. Uh, nah. You think no, you better than me. We will see. See. Skaven don't have any flying. Tomb kings only have carrions. Which are like mummified, uh, like mummified vultures. Uh, Vampire Coast have a uh, deck droppers. The zombies being carried by giant bats. I think one of their lords can be mounted on the Terrorgeist as well. Ugh. Ordered its canisters. Ammunition plus 10% for artillery units. And we want- we get death from afar just after we recruit our, inf our ranged infantry. Well, thanks game for the prompting. Okay. You move up to Zoyshank. I want you to move up to Zoyshank as well. Because Erengrad's fine, but Zoyshank's right on the border. Okay, move your two heroes in there. You've settled Isleheart. Damn it. A Grim von Horseman might have actually been defeated. Ah, hmm. uh, okay. Castle Temple, Hoffos Wall. Ackendorf is just stuff. Hmm. Move you over. Can we see Camry yet? Nope. Yes, my lord. Black Pyramid and Nagash is still controlled by the uh, Dune Kingdoms.
Okay, I'll leave the money and I will uh, continue to... Or I'll pull it for a bit. Uh, get multiple artillery barrels. I'm tempted to declare war on the Empire. That would mean everyone will go against us. I have to raise a few more armies, though. I mean, we can utilize the fact that we're allies with them to our advantage by placing our armies outside of important cities of there and then strike them all at once and take take their power from underneath them before they have a chance to react. It's a very, uh, very uh, diplomatically, dip diplomatically unpleasant mood move, but hmm. And just sort of waiting to see if any events occur and nothing's really happening. Um, there's Ag Hole among the usual. Hmm. You get Taskmaster. Sword of Cain has been claimed. Over there, okay. Also, we've encountered Nagarond. Where do we encounter them? Um, hello, Nagarond? How did we encounter you? Is it because you have confederated with Karond Kar? No. 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 Well, we can see that the Great Arena is owned by Nagarond. Can we get diplomacy with you? Oh, well, the Apparently we have. Apparently we can. Territory do you own? Along there. Okay. Uh, is there an army of yours nearby? Any heroes of yours which have moved into the Empire or something? Because I feel it funny that we could see you, but we can't see the other factions in between us and you. And I have sometimes seen Nagarond come down and attack Norska from the north there. Uh, Trollfjord? No. 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 Hmm. 
Okay, fine, whatever. Well, we can actually go and uh, attack the Tower of Crack, I suppose. Is it time to the provinces? It is for the best. Wait, we can take these settlements along the coast here. They're unpleasant, but. I'd like to keep it going against Norska and uh, stop them from getting their foothold back. Karak Asgard is raised. Crooked Fang Fort is the only greenskin settlement down there now. Black Crag is the only other one they have, I think. Well, no. Ekron and Bitterstone Mine, but I think they're going to be gone soon. Though the greenskins are nearly defeated. Hey, Camry, how's it going? Nope. Camry's a nice level 5 settlement. Xandri's been taken by the uh, Dune Kingdoms. Clubber, what are you doing? You're just standing around there. Ooh. The Barrow Legion actually has two full armies there. I wonder if they're going to take advantage of that. Uh. Don't really want to take on our uh, Gorsal with Egrim right there. That's not really nice, and I can't take Karak Ziflin because we're at war with Blackstone Pass. I could keep marching and try to get Conquato in uh, Albion. Yeah, I don't know, just shack up here. No, not raid! Good. <laughs> you have to spend a turn raiding for it, it'll actually cause diplomatic issues. Ah, oh, that's fine. I will marshal the bed. Help it. Okay, fine. 21. Ooh. Oh, no. Military presence is 20, characters is 12, so... E yeah, that would be 32. So we still don't have enough. Also the corruption is being kept down by a hero, but the corruption there is only generated by a level, by a uh, one local population. So it's not that bad. Uh. What do I want here? Mm. Well, we'll get the hotpot catapults in there, actually. And I'll recruit them over in Castle Drakenhof. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the idea of Castle Drakenhof is being used in the production of soup. Is uh, uh <laughs> It's come to this.
I might pay for a little bit more than I might call it. Since I was doing a stream before this one. Or I was doing another game before this one. But I've been trying to go to bed a bit earlier. Hey, Cetra, what do you want? You want a military alliance? I will do my best to make this simple for you, barbarian. Uh, sure, we would be honored. Even barbarians are capable of a low sort of cunning. Very well, I accept. I just got a military access with them because, I don't know. If they want to march their armies up into my territory, they can, as far as I'm concerned. I would like to see Kemri try and take on parts of the Empire. Looks like the Barrow Legion took part in the mountains. The character Zifflin, was it? Which was ruins. So they're expanding. Hmm. Cabal's doing something. my time with petty talk make your offer and be done why is it centering down here no no peace with the no peace with clan molder Okay, hello. Defeat Malefax the Storm Chaser. Oh, he's back? Oh, he is. Wait. Did he replace Egrim von Horseman? He might have done so. No, that army's got 20 in it. Egrim's had 16, unless they recruited the new units. Hmm. I mean, that's a good move. That army's now weakened, though, so they might get wiped out by Bretonia. Hmm. You, I want you to get... Eh. Assassinate again. The men are keen. Combat away. Take the tower crack. Colonize. Yeah. Maintain control. Ready. Yes, a sound plan. Move up there. The nation called. The Empire. No, that's not my guy. That's not my guy. There we go. Uh Fine, work far. Yeah, whatever. Uh. The nation calls. 
I will move you. And you can go over and have a look at Lostria. Okay. And uh, turn. You went to sort of flying through the turns. Not much is happening. I wonder what happened to the Chaos Dwarf invasions because we were getting messages about them and then it's just sort of nothing's really happened for the last. When do the Greenskin armies appear? What do you mean, like 40 turns ago or something? 30 or 40 turns ago? I would have thought they would have appeared and then like 10 turns later the Chaos Wars would have arrived. So it could be spaced out similar to the uh, Chaos Invasion. Perhaps the Greenskin armies are supposed to constantly respawn when they're defeated and then um, the uh, Chaos Wars arrive. Because how long does it take for the Chaos armies? Uh, the Warriors of Chaos when they spawn and the end times start. Uh, or not, yeah, or the invasion of Chaos starts. Um, I think the initial Chaos armies appear at around turn 80 to 100 and then they start attacking for maybe about 20 to 40 turns. And then at around turn 120 to 140, I want to say, Chaos itself invades. You know, Archaeon. Um, so if they do that, then they should be attacking soon. I don't believe the uh, Chaos Dwarf Invasion overrides the uh, Chaos Invasion. So we might have to deal with both of them at some point. But we haven't had updates about the uh, forces of Chaos increasing in, or gathering. Okay, we've taken that. Are you going to raise Marienburg? Yes. Please raise Marienburg. Right. I would like that city very much. Castle Templehof. Got one more turn for that unit of dryads you've got. Oh, actually. Look at them. Move over into Castle Drakenhof. Recruit the Hotpot Catapults. You can also recruit the dryads here, so that's fine. Do I want you to have another dryad? Do I want you to have a dryad unit? Sure. Uh, actually, go up and have a look at Morgheim.
can now actually see all those regions. Oh, it's because Gorgazan's held by the uh, Tomb Kings here. Okay. And... The exotic animals aren't really doing anything for us because these territories aren't connected to our capital by land, so the we can't trade those resources. Oh, the Empire took Krakow Ravensvik, and Clan Mulder is destroyed. Now I'm going to be able to see whether that frees up all the uh, corruption down in Castle Drakenhof. Because I believe all those undercities around there were actually Skaven. Uh, Clan Mulder, pardon me. We ready we return to our graves and ready ourselves for Geheim Nishnach. You have peace until then. Uh yeah. And the Cabal didn't raise anything. We might be at cross purposes with our military alliance with Kemri and our agreement with Araby. I don't think those two factions will get along with each other. Hello, what do you want? Peace treaty. The blood of humans has lost its savour. Let us have peace. Uh, uh, fine, whatever. I don't really care. You're all the way over there. Go away. It's going to upset our allies, but nah. Hmm. Um... Even the lower Lord Forest could take the areas which the uh, Cabal has been raising. Oh, what's this? Grave news, my lord. Word is spreading across the land of a dark power rising in the northern wastes. Ooh. The armies of chaos are on the move. They surely plan to invade the world of mortals once again. Okay. Prepare your defenses well. For the forces of chaos spare no one in their quest for bloodshed. Okay, these are the warriors of chaos. Ooh. Rise of chaos. Die tidings for the north. Tendrils of chaos writhe and reach out from the accursed wastes, tainting the land and sowing dissent. The corrupt forces wax ever stronger and now their agents are abroad, spreading the foul corruption of the malign gods. On their heels come bands of marauding warriors, led by the most zealous of the chaos lords. Eager to wreak destruction in the name of the ruinous powers. 
And all the while, Evermore warriors flock to some focal point in the Chaos Wastes, a nexus of power which transcends their petty rivalries and impels them to join with the numberless horde. Doom approaches, and it's only found only in strength that any hope may be found. Well, great. We have a uh, invasion of chaos to deal with. Uh, uh, hmm. Primarily, they're not actually going to be our problem. They're going to be the Empire's problem. We don't actually own Prague or Kislev. So, all that being said, you know. Get Soul Blight. Uh, let's actually abandon the Tower Crack. We don't need it. Go back to Zoyshank. Also, this means that Chaos Corruption is spreading in our provinces. Which for us is kind of a big deal, because we don't actually have any means to deal with corruption too much. We have a technology. And uh, the, the local populace, and that's it. The only building we have is the um, Night Watch. <laughs> that's not really good enough. Okay. Escape of Corruption is dropping completely. Local population, Vampiric is going down. Chaos Corruption is going up. But they're balancing out. This is because a bunch of Chaos units have spawned around the map. We have Hezuk's Putris here, a Chaos Sorcerer of Shadows. They spread corruption just by being around. The Celestial Wizard. Uh, Ghost of the Midnight Wind. Yep. Who calls me Hex? Bretonia raised Karak Ziflin. Looks like the army in Blackstone Post has gone too. Well. They did they did something, but in the process of doing something, they weakened themselves. And opened themselves for retaliation. Um, but, I mean, this Chaos Invasion could work to our advantage. If they raise large sections of the Empire, we can move in and colonize. I would like to have a direct path to Erengrad. Come on, Chaos, are you going to destroy, like, Mordheim, Essen, Beckhafen, Castle von Rolken, Sevastra, Erengrad? Well, not Erengrad, because I own that. It just bypassed my places. Mm. The okay, keep moving north. It also means, I believe, that other Chaos armies have spawned around the map. So, well, it's not just these ones up in the north. But they're our primary concern. Uh, what Ostrosk? You've got six turns until... So you're growing rather slowly, but I think that's because I've been upgrading... Yeah, forget that. Um, I've been upgrading Fort Stragoff. Okay, well, let's see where this Chaos Army goes. I half expected the Chaos Armies which spawned to be the Chaos Tools, but... I have to assume that's still happening. As I've said, I don't believe there's any reason why it would be conflicting with anything else. And we already, already had parts of it. I'm just getting impatient. I want to see the Chaos Tools. And I'd like them to appear before dwarves get too unified 
they're getting there, but if the Chaos Dwarves are a big enough problem, they could actually uh, curb the Dwarves' expansion if they appear down, if they appear down there, uh, and you know, mix things up a bit more. Maybe a lot of bad events are going to happen all at once. Last Defenders and Teotika confederated with each other. The Empire... Uh... Did something up north. I couldn't actually see what it was. Winter 2's really not doing too well. I thought they had unified the entire uh, of Norska, and it seems like they have, but they really haven't been utilizing that as strongly as I thought they would. Ugh. Oh, hello, Karak Zorn. What do you want? Non-aggression pact. Yeah, sure, whatever. Rakadrak doesn't want anything with us. I haven't actually seen too many beastmen armies around the place. There was a Torox the Brass Bull, but I haven't seen him for a while. Okay. We researched multiple artillery barrels, like we have multiple artillery barrels to begin with. Get rifled barrels, apparently that improves our crossbowmen. Oh, you raised bear slings camp. I don't think that's a good idea, considering the Vorys of Chaos are right there. Oh, look at that. They've got the Shrine of Sigma. Oh, they can have untainted. Uh, such a luxury. Okay. Mm. Come up north. Just like, I don't know, sit around Beckhafen. Oh, hello. You, you actually moved over there. Well, if you could take... Karak Asgaraz, you're going to be in a better position. You might be able to take it with that army, if you raise some more. Blackstone Pass is looking pretty terrible though. I think it got... ...sacked. Malefax the Storm Chaser is looking worse for wear too, their army is... ...dwindled significantly. Okay, move up here. I think you raised Karaburg? No, you didn't. It just doesn't have walls. Okay. Uh. This no, not you. You. Yes, Let's see Morgheim. You know oh, there's Sirtha Eck. How's it going? 
It's got the flaming axe of Cormac. These are days of great power. The tribes of the north, the beasts of the forest, and the great prince of Karnath will baptize this world in blood. Not a Norskan warhorse. Yeah, it seems actually like the uh, Strigos Empire doesn't have any unique units. So I was wrong in that. I thought they were their own faction. Apparently they are not. They might just have been given... I can't actually remember. Morkheim has been renamed. I'm pretty sure. By a mod. Because that's usually... Uh, Gal Baraz. But apparently no longer. I don't know. I kind of prefer Galbaraz because Morkheim would really be in here. In this swamp area because this is the ruins of uh, Morkheim. Or ruins of the Strigos Empire here. But... Okay. Chris, upgrade to the Sacred Grove. The Empire. Uh, you go in Fort Ostrosk. Zoe Shank, I want. Eh. Uh, tobacco plot. Upgrade the walls. Okay, you're moving. Good, good, good. In turn. Ugh. And I might end it after this turn turns around. Only in an hour and a half for this part, but I have been streaming for five hours, so. Broken nose has been destroyed, to be expected. Green skins down there, surrounded by Tylia, Bretonia, and the Empire, is not going to last long. I wonder what they're going to do to improve the green skin. Trade of assembly, that is. Make it easier for them to raise armies? Maybe they could have a mechanic where. If they sack a settlement, or if they're raiding, they get like a reduction to upkeep for units to represent the fact that you're getting stuff done, the boys are more willing to join your forces. So the more you're, the more aggressive you are, and the more victories you have, you get a bunch of like stacking bonuses which improve, which decrease your upkeep. So, uh, as I was saying, the... Uh, yeah, sure. The, uh... What was I saying? <laughs> so that the more fighting you do as the greenskins, uh, the less... The, the higher the upkeep uh, decrease you get. Just to reward sort of aggressive play. And, you know, the more aggressive you are, the more successful you become. And the harder you are to stop. Because the green skins is kind of something which they have, people have to keep on top of. Because if they let them go for too long, uh, they end up 
getting huge armies and being kind of unstoppable. They should be like a rolling ball. And top knots are destroyed. At the moment though, they're sort of... They start out strong, but then they get destroyed and uh, they never really recover, I feel. Once their armies are beaten, they have difficulty building momentum again. Okay, the walls there. Uh, get fields. You can't tell me that you actually defeated one of the Chaos armies there. Not with that army. Not when they've got like four stacks there. Wolfram Hurtwig, I think he actually defeated Malefex. Bloodfeather. Huh. Uh, I believe that's supposed to say blood drenched, but to me it looks like it says blood clenched. Or maybe that's just the font. Uh, anything else? Fast. Zaraxil raised. Ekrund has been claimed by Clan Angrund. Nothing really going on down here. You're there. Okay. You can go into the ocean and you can start sailing over to Bretonia. Since you did the diversion that uh, you diverted like I wanted you to. Actually, you can go up to uh, Ulth 1. I haven't actually got contact with the High Elves. Others still around. Oh, hello. There's the uh, Tree Blood faction, headed by Troll Tree. You have been granted access to the halls of Very eloquent for a uh, tree. Fine. Well, whatever you're doing up there. Slaughter the sheep. The Empire. Okay. Fine. 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 Uh. Yep, I've moved you. You're moved. Ugh. I'll just end the turn and then... <laughs> like I said before, I'll end it <laughs> at the next turn. But of course I meant the next turn, not this turn. Uh. Let's hope Malefax has been defeated. I believe he has been. Hello, Crocgar. Non aggression pact. Sure, whatever. Your offer is pleasing, more blood. What's the Emperor going to do? Oh, they raised uh, the capital of Wintertooth up there. It's only a minor settlement though.
Are the warriors of chaos going to... Yep, they raised Bearsling's camp. The Cabal is still around, even though I can't see their armies. Oh, what do you want? Bowman of Orion? Not the aggression pact. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, and we got engineer, smuggler, tradesman, Krugenheim disappeared, fine. Oh, yes, okay. Oh, you actually fled with Gals Galsa. Wow, why are they taking so much attrition? That's incredible. You're losing like half of your, you losing like a third of your unit in attrition. Just because you're standing there? Villatrexa. Villatresca. Do you have like a penalty to your attrition here? No. You've even got minus 20% casualties suffered from Chaos Territory Attrition. But that's not Chaos Territory Attrition, that's uh, just Tundra. Sheesh. Okay, well, three Chaos Armies are marching down from the Wastes. We have armies up there to deal with them. Kind of. <laughs> Possibly. I don't think we're going to be strong enough to deal with them. Oh, there's the Chaos Warp de Defilers. They've moved from Serpent's Fang. Uh, fine, fine. Stuff's happening. Doesn't look like they took Karak Asgaraz. Okay, well, that will probably do it for tonight. Not much has happened, but Chaos have invaded, and we took the Tower of Crack, though we're probably going to lose it soon because of, because of, uh, public order issues and me deeming it not as that important to hold. I don't know, I might move my army back up there. Chaos has got four armies or so over there. Uh... And we do, as I've mentioned many times, kind of lack the uh, capability to deal with them. But we'll just have to see how we go. So yes, I would like to thank you very much for joining me for this stream of Warhammer 2 Total War Halflings campaign. And I hope you'll join me again next time. We will probably have to face off against Chaos. Oh boy. Super Halflings versus Chaos Warriors. What a great matchup. Until then though, farewell. I will stop the recording here.